Hi class, and welcome to the last week of International Healthcare System. It has been a wonderful semester with you all. It was great getting to know everyone. And for those of you graduating this semester, a big congrats. So this week, you have your final exam in this course. The final exam will be available to you on two days, December 8th and December 9th. Now, the final exam does include an online proctoring software. It is not a lockdown browser, so once you enter the final exam, you will be able to open up your PowerPoint slides that go along with the chapters covered in the final exam electronically with no problem. I usually advise my students to compile all their PowerPoint slides into one file. So once you've entered the final exam, you'll be able to open up that file and have all the chapters that are covered in the final exam there in one file. You can add notes onto those slides just to help jog your memory on topics that weren't covered on the slides. All right, so let's get started. Now the way you'll be accessing your final exam is different than exam one and two. For the final exam, you will access it through the remote proctor software site. So you will be going to this website and you will find yourself here. Okay. Now, first, what's going to happen is there will be a systems check to make sure that the computer you're using is compatible. Then there's a couple of other things you will have to go through like showing your student ID and once you've went through all the different prompts you will be uh, given the option to click on your final exam. So for this final exam it will be HSA 4124 final exam. Once you click on it you'll be taken to the final exam Make sure to complete it and click the submit button when you are done. Now, once you've entered your final exam, just really quick, I want to go over this one more time. You will be able to open up your PowerPoint slides electronically. You could only view them electronically, though. All right. You all, there's also a course feedback assignment called reflection assignment. For those of you interested in getting an extra five points and providing me with some honest feedback on your experience taking this online course, please complete this assignment. So I'm going to scroll through this week's content folder and just briefly describe to you what is included for this week. So this link right here, you will not be able to access your final exam from this link. Again, you would have to go through the online proctoring site. Below that is your reflections assignment. So if your remarks are positive or negative, it will have no bearing on your grade in this course. It is merely for me to better my courses for my future students. Just by completing it, you will receive five points for your final exam. It's just a very short questionnaire on your experience taking my online exam, uh, online course. Sorry. If you have any questions at all during your final regarding anything in this course, do not hesitate to email me. All right, I'm here to help. Best of luck, everyone on the final exam, on your future classes, and again, for those of you graduating, congratulations. Take care. Bye.